I want to take you guys out for a bike ride and tell you what's been going on for the last three weeks because it has definitely been interesting. I'm not going to do any trails or single track. I picked up these neutral density filters. So yeah, let's get on the bike and go for a ride and I'll tell you what's been going on. Cause I've been living life right like I could just... Started and uh, I put the uh, I think it's an eight neutral density eight might be too dark I don't know we'll see you guys are on the handlebars right now so it's probably gonna be shaky but once we get out of traffic I'll pick you up on the tripod all right we're heading down here Go up here and do my normal kind of like uh, recovery loop. One more intersection to pass, and then we'll be on the uh, be by the pond. I'm gonna see my buddy, Mr. Heron, the blue heron. I hadn't seen him in a while. I rarely go back here anymore because they closed down the trails back here. All right. We made it. It's just a little bit of traffic up here. Everybody is out today. It is a lovely day. 70 plus degrees. And it's actually the Saturday before the Super Bowl. And the Saturday before Valentine's Day on Monday. Thought I'd take you guys out today and do like a little bicycle vlog and uh, Tell you a story of what's transpired over the last three weeks it seems to be a common theme we all got that beer virus if you go back in the video list we did a video where we visited south mountain state park and in that video uh h money actually had she was sick then we didn't know what it was she had got tested previous Friday because she was going to a wedding a New Year's Day wedding and so apparently it's possible that she picked it up there and uh, soon after that trip that following Saturday I came down with it with symptoms it started out with the body aches, a little bit of sore throat, and then deep congestion. The body aches went away after about two days, and I thought, you know, hey, that's pretty much over. But the congestion just started hanging around. So I picked up one of those home test kits, Binax kit, uh, Binax test kit, tested positive. One day after I became sick that Saturday the following Sunday G Money started getting sick she started out with a bad sore throat and then she has some aches but neither of us really had uh, fever now by this time H Money had already her symptoms have already subsided seems like the younger folks got over it pretty quick but G Money and I, it was about a three week, actually it was longer than three weeks for me. I think I spent an additional two more days, so probably 23 days. Yeah, nonetheless, I haven't been on a bike. Jeez, it seems like in forever. I was gonna start out the new year right, and uh, I've been trying to produce this uh, how to manual video because I finally got some tips that I think is actually worthwhile sharing versus like doing the same old video that you know, everybody does. But uh, it just it just seems like it's going to be delayed and delayed. So I'm going to try to try to start working out and getting back on the bike, getting my energy back and doing a lot more riding. You, you probably noticed that we haven't been producing a lot of uh, biking content lately. 
Well, part of the reason is being sick, and then also another part of the reason is we've been traveling a lot too. H Money starting college in the summer, so we're going to be you know, doing the whole tour and move-in thing for uh, for college as well for her. But uh, yeah, this is kind of where we're at. We've all been sick, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it was not fun. I mean, it wasn't horrible. I think I would rather. I don't know. Is the flu worse or not? I think the symptoms. I think the symptoms for the flu were worse, or would be worse, if I remember. I haven't had the flu in a while, but let's throw one of these other lenses on real quick. But yeah, you can see a lot of people out having a picnic. People out riding bikes. So yeah, it's been a crazy three weeks. You go back and look at some of the videos I made in the last three weeks. They were all in in the office, and uh, you can tell I had a lot of congestion. It wasn't feeling the greatest. As a matter of fact, in the last video I published, I forgot to color grade. <laughs> so it was a very flat video. But anyhow, we made it. I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you where we've been and why, why there's been no content why there's been no mountain biking content hopefully going forward we stay healthy so that's going to be a big key for me not that hard yet how you doing good boy. Good boy. telling that dog good boy for barking at me it's going to be a little bit darker in here so it's probably going to be super dark out of this lens pick you guys back up and See you when I cross over the road here. I'll tell you what else happened. Yeah, this is one of our uh, greenways around the corporate park out here. So whenever it's too wet, ride on single track where we need to get our cardiovascular on on the flat this is where we come my legs feel good my lungs not so much during that three weeks I didn't feel like going outside much although I wanted to because it snowed twice and I love camping and hiking in the snow and if the ground is frozen they even like riding in the snow it got really cold for a few nights in a row there way below freezing which you know we don't get that many below freezing days where we're at after i started feeling better i went out to the van i was like well, you know what Let me get everything straight for our next trip. So I turned the water on and the hot water heater was busted. So water shot everywhere. And uh, I saw that and I just went right back in the house. Ordered a new water heater, waited for it to come in. I totally forgot to drain it and I felt so bad. I felt so bad. All those weeks, I just didn't go out and winterize, which I normally don't because we we normally keep it. It doesn't get that cold that many nights in a row, so normally wouldn't freeze, but this time it did. It broke right where the fitting was, which makes sense because there was still water in the line and there was just no room for the ice to expand and uh it went pow 130 dollars down the drain that's the second part of the story so we were sick water heater busted and then i was like oh crap i don't have any videos normally i would have two or three videos that are in queue and i could just go 
you know, move whatever video I'd had already finished up to the front. I do have a list I keep up with of videos I would like to do. So I just went through that list and picked a few that were, that I could do inside the house, inside the office. Use the green screen. This pine straw is brutal. I rushed to get out a video for the week. That was probably, what, a couple weeks ago. And so I, I didn't make the Thursday deadline because even once you upload a video and then the time it takes for it to process and Make sure the uh, YouTube guidelines are met. And then for an HD version, specifically a 4K version, to get completed, it takes longer. So it, I usually try to upload the previous week. That way, if any problems arise, I can catch it in time, re-upload and not miss a Thursday at 12 p.m. which is my normal schedule. But for the last few weeks, it's been filming the video in the same week, editing in the same week, and getting it processed and out on YouTube in the same week. So lately, the last few uploads have been coming out on Friday around 12 p.m. So, that's what's been going on with the videos. So if I miss a week or two, you guys know there's nothing happening in my life that I don't want to share, which, you know, that's very plausible. It's not all uh, sun and travel and biking and fun. We've got the same life everybody else does. we got to pay the bills. we got to make the money. we got to do our taxes. And then our uh, sometimes third second most of the time our third job is to do youtube so so that's the loop almost we're back at the pond now and uh once we get home that's about a 10 mile loop these shram cassettes though i swear that tick there's one gear and i have new chain ring new cassette and new chain there's that one gear. That just wants to click and click and click. That's what's been going on with us. I know it's not super exciting, but I thought I'd share because I think most of you realize something was up. Based on the uploads and how I sounded in a couple of those uploads. Tons of turtles, ducks. Let's see if our buddy the heron's out there. Tons of geese out there. Look at all the turtles. There's a lot of trails that had added miles that I want to check out. There's new trails. There's some trails in Virginia I want to check out, Georgia, Arkansas. I want to get to all of those when we get 100%. So we're going to end this one right here on this trail. Till next time, still up and ride, van up and go. Just remember, everybody needs a plan B. Cha cha for now. So just don't be ignored. Go ask for more. Go ask for more. Cause I've been